Let's take a look at the chemical formula for iodine. Right here we have solid iodine. We also have iodine gas, and you can even have iodine in a liquid form. Whenever we have iodine, when you say iodine just by itself, we're talking about I2. It's a diatomic molecule. So you're not going to have just I all by itself unless it's bonded to something else like, say, sodium. This is sodium iodide. But if you see I all by itself like this, it's going to be diatomic. It's going to be I2. And this would be the formula for solid iodine or for iodine gas or iodine in the liquid phase. Let's look at the Lewis structure for iodine to maybe understand that a little better. So this is our Lewis structure for iodine. Iodine's in group 17, so it has seven valence electrons. Since we have two, we have 14 total valence electrons. These two, that's the chemical bond between the iodine atoms. Then these are lone pairs here. So you can see that each iodine atom has eight valence electrons. It has an octet, which is very stable. And since this is a covalent compound, these electrons are shared. So that's why we end up with I2. You can also have the iodide ion, and that looks like this. And you're probably thinking, but wait, we said you can't have iodine all by itself. I minus is very different than just I. Here we have an extra electron, and this is an ion. It's a negative ion called the iodide ion. Think back to NaI, sodium iodide. We talked about that earlier. Sodium's in group one. It has a one plus ionic charge. Iodine, that's in group 17, sometimes called 7A. So it has that one minus ionic charge. This is an ionic compound. The sodium lost an electron to the iodine. That's why it's negative. So here we do have the iodide ion by itself, but it's bonded with sodium. If we put this in water, it's going to dissolve. It'll split apart. Let's put an AQ, aqueous, since they're in water, dissolved in water. And that gives us this iodide ion here. If the water evaporates, these two would come back together in a solid. So to recap, when we say iodine, we're talking about I2. Whether it's solid iodine, iodine gas, or if you have liquid iodine. If we have the iodide ion, that's going to be I-. minus. This is Dr. B talking about the chemical formula for iodine. Thanks for watching.